today we are going to talk about one of the boldest marble of the world, Nero Marquina. Watch this video till the end to know about why you should buy Nero Marquina porcelain tile and not the original Nero Marquina marble. <music> Everyone. I am Yukti Balara and today I have Mr. Niket Balara from the product development team of Saik with us to talk about the Nero Marquina porcelain tile. Hello Niket. Uh, hello Yukti. So the story of Nero Marquina is like it is one of the darkest marble available in the market right now and uh, it is like pitch black like it has some veins which is like very sharp and very white and crisp it depends on different quarries and everything but mostly the particular thing about the narrow machina is it is the black uh, in the background it is actually an uh, idea not from my side it is before me like it was started by one of our senior designer who is also a partner at uh, type ceramics and he had a, uh, this vision uh, that when he saw this black marble uh, it was i think in italy and uh, I think uh, it was a showroom of Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent, yeah. Yeah. So he was visiting that showroom, and uh, it was like uh, entirely uh, luxurious, and it was designed so well that uh, from the distance only you can see that it is a different from the rest of the showroom in that street. Mm. And what make it very particular mm. was the black marble which was used uh, mm. from the facade. Yeah. So the most of the other showrooms mm. were with the beige and white uh, marbles. Yeah, so usually was, that's very common. Yeah. Yeah, that is very common in European streets. You can find it everywhere. But the black marble, and that also it was uh, a really polished surface mm. in the marble. Like wow. So yes. So it was the entire big slabs of marble used outside of the showroom. And our senior partner, he was thinking about it like how he can produce that tile. And uh, it can put, replicate that uh, marble into the ceramic or porcelain tile, but that was back before 2000. So at that time there was no technology to produce the pitch black uh, colors in uh, the porcelain tile. In ceramic you can produce it of course, but uh, not in the porcelain tile. Yeah. So since last five or six years, I think there were some companies in Italy who started it, and with the glaze of uh, Spain and uh, Italian. They produce this high glossy finish, which is like an uh, additional layer of coating, which makes the shine out more particular than the regular polish. Mm. And the main thing about the high gloss surface is like you can achieve the black color or the dark color. The and darkest the intensity. The darkest yeah. intensity of black color. Yeah. Yeah. Even uh, it's not the thing about the uh, ink. Like if yeah. I produce this ink in the regular polished mm -hmm. uh, surface, yeah. then it will look dark grey, it won't look pitch black. Okay. But you can see like in this style, it is like a pitch black background. Yeah. So this is... Uh, a the key. canvas looks the very dark black, I mean. Yes. It's extreme dark, I mean. I, this is the darkest I've ever seen black. Yes. Yeah. So then, that was the beginning story like how we started uh, because of the glaze and mm. uh, the technology of high glow. Yeah. We could achieve this uh, narrow machina into the tiles. And uh, then, uh, when mm. I was uh, joined in the design team, our task was to choose which particular ma uh, marble Marbles, yeah. sells the most. Yeah. So we got some feedback from our importers in United States and Canada as well yeah. as Europe, like what kind of uh, narrow machina they are looking for. Yeah. We have developed a series of uh, different uh, marbles. Especially in narrow machina, saranoid, those kind of stones. Yeah. So but uh, this marble, especially the best out of it is the narrow machina. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, uh, if you ask me, people hesitate to have uh, uh, the the black color in their interior because yeah. it's very bold choice to have it in interior. Yeah. So are customers or are your clients choosing it or are they preferring to have black in the interior? Yeah. Is it actually? Suggestible from your side, what is your opinion on this? See, it is subjective to the choice of the yeah, end user. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be the end user as a like a homeowner, yes. or it can be a choice of the architect. Yeah. Of course, it is a bold choice, 
Yeah. But that is what makes it so different and mm. unique. Yeah. If you want to have something which is not available or which is not uh, very common, yeah. like some you don't see everywhere. Yeah. 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 Normally, if you visit some uh, hotel or any of the showroom or mm. anything like that. or even the most of our house are made up of colors like beige gray yes. and white marble yes. or cement and that yes. kind of look it's like plain but if you want something unique then definitely this is yes. a very good choice also some statement wall yes. like for example if you want a wall to stand out than the rest of the interior yeah. then you can use the narrow marquina because uh, for example like a tv back wall yes or uh, fireplace wall yeah uh, yeah and for example the floor can be the white marble yeah and uh, the narrow marquina goes really well yeah. with the white marble yeah so that is also a combination they do even in the bathrooms they do like a particular wall they do out of uh, narrow yeah. marquina because the, uh, yeah i yeah. i guess uh, black is a kind of a powerful choice yeah, black yeah. is the color of power of and course, it yeah. says like when you have it in the interior it stands out completely correct. and looks more classy <laughs> and uh, yeah. exquisite yeah, yeah best correct. yeah so i think um, so for having it in the interior to stand out or highlight some wall yeah. i think that would go the best i mean something correct. which is not common uncommon things and rarest things yes correct so, so that uh, is good so what are the um, sizes is um, i mean what are the sizes available with it i mean do we have the same size or we have different sizes no we have a very wide variety of sizes in yeah. this collection mm-hmm. yeah uh, there is actually two narrow marquina design one is called narrow marquina itself and another is the uh, dark rose mm-hmm. a narrow marquina is little bit with the natural yeah. vein color yeah. it's like little bit uh, of warm tone yes. and the, uh, another one is the crisp uh, white little bit blue tint inside of it so both of those collection it varies like in terms of the collection but yeah. uh, the size which we cover is like 32 by 64 mm-hmm. in inches then 32 by 32 uh, 24 by 48 24 yeah. by 24 12 by 24 all the sizes which is basically uh, most common mm-hmm. among the US high yeah. market right now you also from the, the mosaic yeah, yeah, yeah i was yeah. coming to that point that yeah. US is very much popular <laughs> about the mosaic do you yeah. know it in mosaic because yeah. from our uh, viewers we get to know that mosaics are quite uh, popular yeah. in us so i was coming yeah. to that question yeah uh, in terms of mosaic see this is a high glow style so uh, you can of course have the mosaic hmm. but the thing which we have recently launched and which i wanted to mention is like this style in the glossy or in the polished version was very difficult back for 5 years if you ask there was no such option yeah but till recent time also you cannot get such a black intensity in yeah. the matte style Oh. So that was what we what we launched last year. Mm. Uh, we worked out uh, a technology with our glaze company in the Spain, and uh, we worked out a new glaze which yeah. we also now have lo- uh, officially commercially yeah. launching it with the mm-hmm. entire market. But uh, it is basically the black glaze mm-hmm. which gives the dark intensity mm-hmm. in the matte style. So it's not just the ink; it's glaze as well. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so that is uh, another advantage. Like we are yeah. not just providing or working with the ink; we also have uh, yeah. finest of the glaze as well. Correct. So that's interesting. So if you see like any of this style in the black marble, especially the narrow marquina, we were launched in the matte version. So the problem which we are facing was like uh, in the high glow surface. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You cannot use that style in the commercial space flooring. Yeah. Uh, because it is high gloss, it is little bit catch, scratch uh, prone. Yeah. That is a thing which is like a, a limitation for the high gloss style. Mm-hmm. Of course, you can use it for the wall application, yeah. or you can use it for the floor application for the residential or low traffic area. Yeah. But if it, it is for the commercial space, for like office space yeah. or a shopping mall or something like that, then for the flooring. the client required the matte version yes. and for that we developed last year the matte which we call nebula matte so that now you can also have it in the tile format as well as the mosaic format okay so what are what 
also all other formats do you provide? I mean, what if I want it in a different shape or anything? Is it the yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. exclusivity? That is what we are launching this year. That the same tile which we produce in the porcelain body, mm. now we are also offering in the ceramic body. Mm. So you can have like 12 by 24 wall tiles in ceramic or 12 by. Oh, that's in uh, very tiles. interesting. Yeah. You can have like 12 by 12 as well. And also the interesting part is now we also incorporate our subway tile collection with the same designs as the porcelain tiles. So this design of narrow marquina you can also get in the sub yeah. So that's like if I want to mix and match with my interior, yeah. let's say uh, with the TV unit, uh, I want to correct. match with the kitchen interior, I can have it with mosaic or subways as well. Correct, correct. Yeah. And uh, what if I want to have, uh, let's say, uh, hexagon, do you have it? Yes, of course, we also have the hexagon. Oh my god, really? <laughs> I cannot believe it. Oh, I Asking for something that no. wouldn't be possible, and you have it. I wasn't yeah. expecting this. No, the thing with uh, yeah. this collection particularly, yeah. and why you should buy this instead of the marble, yeah. is like first of all, in marble people were looking for different options, yeah. like they wanted to have different sizes and thickness and all kind of finish and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like for example, up till now it was not possible in matte, so now last year we launched in the matte. Mm-hmm. Now we also make the mosaics out of it. So all of those things were possible with the marble, like the narrow marquina, mm-hmm. real marble. Mm-hmm. But the thing with the real marble is like, this is probably 10 times more expensive okay. if you buy the marble yeah, because, of narrow marquina. Because of the uh, rare availability. Yeah, rare availability. Mm-hmm. Of course, this style is little bit expensive than the regular polish or regular yeah. mat. Mm-hmm. But still it is 10 times cheaper than yeah. the real marble. Real mar- of course. So that is what makes this a really nice uh, value for money product. You mm. should go with the tile. Even if you are thinking to go with the bigger tile, yeah. we have bigger format slabs also, like 32 oh. by 64. Oh my god. So that is yeah. uh, enough for uh, bigger space also, like if there is yeah. a big uh, a bathroom or something mm. like that, you mm. can directly apply the slabs also of mm. narrow marking. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what are, are the surfaces uh, do you provide? Do you have any other surface like apart from polished or high gloss? Yeah. Uh, what are the other surface? I mean, of course, matte no, is. Yeah, matte is another. Then we also have developed a velvet surface, which is like a very smooth satin. Oh. Uh, it is like you are. Uh, like the touch of velvet fabric yeah, yeah. is like as smooth as that, yeah. even smoother than that, I can say. Oh my and god, now along, that is, uh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to have that. <laughs> along with that, we have another surface, we call it a dune, it's like a granular surface. Mm-hmm. So it is like little bit granules on the top and the body of that the tile is in color body, so the body is also in the black color. Oh, so, so it's like, a, yeah, so mm-hmm. it's like even if uh, uh, the, it's in high traffic area, I can use that yeah, tile. Yeah. So that, I I mean, you can get the same color. Of I course. mean, it's not noticeable enough to it. Yeah, so that's very interesting. And then there are yeah. like lots of new surfaces also we are experimenting with. Like for example, velvet plus carving oh, uh, is what yeah. we are working because this is very luxurious marble. Yeah. And many of the application is done with the the velvet finish in the natural mm. marble. Yeah. It looks uh, really nice. So that same finish we want to achieve in the tiles. So we are working on that. Probably this. By the end of this year, we will launch it also. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> so, thank you, Niket, for the information. So, to all the viewers, black is the color of power and luxury. Yeah. If you are looking for something very exclusive and luxurious, then you can uh, choose Tyke for the Nero Marquina, a very bold choice marble style for your interior. If you think that this video was really interesting, then please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.